Welcome back to Garage Matters. Today we'll be showing this 4Runner some love and installing this 3 channel dash cam. This 3 channel dash cam will give me the front view, cabin view, and rear view. I got this over Christmas break for $70. We'll see how much value we can get for $70. Go ahead and get it opened up. See what comes in here. This looks like the rear camera with some wiring. Power supply. Okay. Old school. Old school power supply and looks like we're just gonna stick it in the cigarette lighter. Suction cup mount. Nice. And then let's see the camera. So it says it's 1080p FHD. Funny, the whole housing is made out of plastic, but I guess that's what you can expect from $70. Can't expect too much. We'll see how she performs. We'll go ahead and attach the camera to the suction cup and then attach it to the windshield. And that's the front view of how this dash cam looks like on this windshield. Now once it's attached, we'll go ahead and hide this wiring along the trim up here. Then we'll come down this A-pillar, down underneath this dash, and into the glove compartment. And we'll hide this ugly cigarette adapter inside the glove compartment instead of here. To hide this wiring, I'm just going to use this trim tool and push this wiring up in between this headliner and the windshield. Now I'm just going to do that all the way around here, down here, and then over here. Once we got it around here, we're just gonna keep on coming down this weather seal and just pushing it in between this A pillar and this weather seal.
we're gonna hide this wire up underneath here come down along this trim and then once we get to the glove compartment we're gonna flip inside the glove compartment Once the wire is hidden all along the bottom part of the center console, you're going to bring it all the way up to the center console and then just plug it in into the cigarette lighter. Now one thing that I already don't like about this dash cam is this power cord is kind of short so I had to move this camera from the middle to right about above the steering column to make this wire long enough to reach back into this glove compartment for the power supply. We'll go ahead and start this up and see what it looks like. We're cycling through the views and it looks like this is the cabin view in black and white. Hopefully when we pull the data off the SIM card, it'll be in color, but we'll see how it turns out once we pull the data. And then you have a front view and cabin view side by side. And back to the front view. It looks like this dash cam also has a microphone so we should be able to record some audio. We'll go ahead and get this forerunner on the road so we can get some audio and video footage from this dash cam. Got the forerunner out. We're gonna test the audio and video on this dash cam. I've also got my main camera rolling as well just in case this dash cam doesn't do the trick. We'll see how good this dash cam is with the audio and video. <coughs> Alright, so we're off the main road now. We're on some dirt roads. Uh, a couple of little hills here and there. Uh, it's a little muddy out here, so I'm just going to put in high four for right now. Just in case, but probably don't need it. But we'll just leave it in high four just in case. Forerunner is running on stock suspension. 
Still has the factory tires on it. So this is what it feels like driving on this dirt road going eight miles an hour just crawling along. It's a little bumpy but that's alright. It's not too horrible. We'll go up this little incline. Not in this forerunner I can't handle. body construction like those Honda Pilots or Nissan Pathfinders. So it's one of those reasons why I got this 4Runner. So the ride's gonna be a little bumpy, almost like a truck. There really wasn't no need for uh, us to go into high forward. This is just ordinary dirt road that's not too bad really. I guess any car could make it through here without four wheel drive. But it's always good to have four wheel drive. Sometimes you get into situations where you wish you would have had four wheel drive. I don't ever want to be in that situation. And plus, if you're getting a forerunner, you gotta get four wheel drive. That's the only reason people buy forerunners. So we're gonna stop on this hill right here. I'm going to turn on the downhill assist control and then just let off the gas and brake. I'm not going to step on the brake or anything and we'll see what this 4Runner does. back into too high and hit the road we've got a little mud on tires now time to clean it off and hit the road we'll see how this audio is on this dash cam Hopefully you guys can hear me, if not, I got my other camera rolling, so we'll catch the audio either way.
We got the Forerunner back in the garage now after taking it out for a drive. After reviewing the audio and video from the dash cam, it's not the best, but I guess it works for what it is for being $70. We took the Forerunner on some light trails, really nothing that the Forerunner couldn't handle. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Join us next time on Garage Matters, and remember, hit that like and subscribe button.